I'm often asked, what's the difference between SOLT calibration and an SOLR or unknown through? In this short video, I'm going to try to explain the difference between these two to you. And calibration is a topic, um, can have lots of discussion with lots of caveats, but my goal is to keep this video short, so I'm going to just go over the common use cases and not all the side cases. So let's start with some terminology. We have SOLT, which is the cal most VNA users are used to, short open load through. You do a short open load on one port, short open load on the other port, and then you do a through. SOLR is actually very similar. It's short open load reciprocal through. Or, and this is the same cal that's called unknown through. And what does reciprocal mean? Reciprocal is a, any device like your adapter where the S21 and S12 are the same, or even a cable. The cable is a reciprocal device because the S12 and S21 are the same. And in the CAL algorithm, what is it, happens in SOLR is when it gets to the through part, it's expecting a reciprocal device. So now let's talk about measuring devices. So let's say if you had a male-female device, an insert, what we would call an insertable device, that's not a problem. You do your short open load, you do your short open load on the other port, and when it comes, it says connect it through, you have a male here, you have a female here, and you connect it and all is well. No problems at all. But what if your device was non-insertable, which means like this one. You see this is female, female on both ports. Or this, female, female SMA. Here you do your open short load, open short load. When it comes to the through part, you have two male cables now. They're not going to directly connect. So what happens when it says make your through connection? Maybe you just go find some adapter. That's what a lot of users do. They just look for something, any adapter, and they make a connection. Maybe you'll put a little bit more effort and find a little bit nicer adapter. But you just put in that adapter, but the problem is the Cal algorithm was assuming a perfect through. It was assuming a flush through, but you've put in an adapter and you've not told it, and that introduces errors and uncertainties in there. You could do a little bit better, and SOLT takes what is called the define through. So you can define this adapter, and but there you tell it the loss and the delay. And the SOLT is assuming a perfect match, and we know this doesn't have a perfect match. This is an example of a CAL kit with a defined through. You can see it has a through in there. And some CAL kits boxes, you know, you have a nice male, male, or female, female adapter in there if you've got it in there. But again, that's not de-embedding the full adapter. It's making some assumptions. This is where SOLR comes to the rescue and helps you out. SOLR says, just put in any adapter you have, as long as it's reciprocal, and I will de-embed it for you. It fully measures the S parameters and removes it from your measurement. So SOLR will give you better uncertainty in those cases than SOLT. And if you have an insertable, it still works great. So in general, it's a more accurate calibration than SOLT, which is why if you look at um, Keysight VNAs like FieldFox. You can see here we have full two port SOLR unknown through. That's our recommended CAL. We give you the choice of SOLT, but we recommend the SOLR because it takes care of all these scenarios very nicely, very gracefully. PNA also recommends SOLR as the calibration. And sometimes users prefer SOLT for a very simple reason, which is we're all used to it. We, we're used to doing our open short load, open short load, then we make our through connection and we see an S21, and we're used to seeing that as zero, like a flat, nice zero line. And you see that with SOLT because it's assuming perfection, so when it normalizes it, you see a perfect zero. SOLR actually measures it, so you see kind of a little slope or a little ripple, or you're seeing actually the loss of your adapter. So people think because it's not perfect line, it's actually worse, but in fact, that's a more accurate representation of what reality is. Even if your male-female connection is not perfect, it's going to show it to you versus the SOLT just normalizes it and show it to you as zero. So that's kind of a misconception there that SOLT is better, but it's just, it's assuming it's perfect, so it just removes it, even though we know in reality it's not perfect. I also wanted to make one last point finally about the words full two port. You can see here this is full two port SOLR, full two port SOLT. These are all full two port CALs. They're great CALs. It's very good to do them to remove the systematic measurement errors, but full two port by itself is not telling you what is the um, cal type that's getting used. So that's it. Thank you.